I think I do feel like doing one more attempt of the multiple choice, so let me do that. I mean, yeah, it's a, if I, if you excuse my language, it's a pissing contest between GPT and me. <laughs> because I do think uh, um, I can do better than GPT. So GPT got 70%, needed almost all 10 minutes. Uh, so, I mean, set this up. In case I need to plug in any numbers, I'm going to have Ofram Alpha on the side. Because, you know, I'm allowed to have a calculator. So I have a calculator that I'm allowed to use. And let me work through it. And, and you know, to a degree, this is not a fair comparison because I wrote these questions. I remember I remember many of the tricks, of especially trick questions. So, no. <laughs> but, you know, it's been a while since I've done these questions. So, okay, I'm going to start. And I'll try to go through as quickly as possible. So I'm not going to explain a lot of things uh, because I'm trying to go through quickly. Okay, particle, <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully I don't have to plug in any of these numbers. Roller magnet field, uh, particle, circulating particle accelerator, okay. Accelerator pi pulling in the direction. It doesn't do that, perpendicular to the field. Would you like the phase, it's not Star Trek. Uh, use, yeah, bend the path of the particle, yeah, that's right. Uh, no, that's an electric field. Uh, well, if it's proton. <laughs> Electric charge and magnetic field. Oh, I think I we had this question when it is moving. Yeah, that's the correct one. Uh, it's an, an electric release from rest near North Pole. It doesn't do anything because it's a rest. Feels no force. Not in reality, it won't really be true. That's thermal velocity, but we're gonna ignore that. We are doing classical physics for now. Um, which row below attraction and repulsion of magnets? Uh, like poles repel opposite of yeah, that's actually correct. Likes repel, opposite attract, <laughs> one of the few maxims that are somehow correct. But uh, do make sure um, that like it's no more than that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the rest are just wrong. I think this must be one of my physics 10 questions, one of the EGR questions. Okay, model of motor, motor, okay, how an electric motor works. Uh, yeah, it's the magnetic force based thing. It's not, we're not using Faraday's law here just yet. So um, uh, electrons flow, they're, they're not attracted to the magnet. It's not how magnetic force works. Magnetic field sets up, whirling, and no, no. I mean, it can set up eddy current, but that's part of this law, which we're not doing yet. It's voltage, electric field set up, wire interact. No, um, the field doesn't interact with the magnetic field. Okay, so current flows, field exerts a force perpendicular to the wire, which, yeah, that's what the figure is actually showing. Okay, six. Um, yeah, so this is one where, um, so I only know the answer because uh, I only know it's the one without the pi because I looked up the formula before. So question like this, you really should look up the formula from the textbook. You shouldn't rely on your memory. Um, and you know, one question like this, you should have enough time to look a formula for one question like that. You know, magnetic field of a current loop. And you should, you know, look at the formula. Okay, that's the formula at the center of the loop. Okay. So, and choice between this and this. And I got to figure out, okay, at the bottom, current the points out of the page. So, um, so at the top, so in. So, magnetic point, to fill this point to the left. Yeah, I think I worked this all out before. Okay. <laughs> um, if you're looking straight line of current coming towards you, then the magnetic field due to this current will appear as counterclockwise uh, circles around the current going counterclockwise Let me just do it from my perspective so that I okay. fundamental source of magnetic field is a moving electric charge which can be a current um, yeah. magnetic charge doesn't exist if it existed yes that would be fundamental source ferromagnets are um, just a farming work <laughs> It's, it's what I call joke answer. It's a, a fanciful description that, I mean, no. I mean, I guess it could be true, but no, no. Um, no source needed, no. Um, yeah, the keyword is magnetic domain. That's a phrase you would remember from your textbook if you read the, about the ferromagnetism in your textbook. Gauss's law and Ampere's law very similar in the, yeah, okay. Um, although they're similarly applied, some utility for okay. So this is a difference, contrast, okay. In applying Gauss's law to find the electric field, you have to know the direction of the, you know. Uh, in both cases, you kind of have to know the direction from um, your drawing field lines, so that's not correct. 
Choosing a Gaussian surface, you choose the surface to be perpendicular. Yeah, okay. Choosing the Ampere law, you choose the loop segment to be pro. Yeah, that's correct. And I think uh, was the choice not shuffled. That was the uh, same order. Uh, there's there is a difference. The Gauss law can be used to find electric field. No, if you like symmetry, then you can't really apply to find the electric field. Can be related. Uh, you have to watch out for something. No, there Ampere's law is a fundamental law of nature. Just like with the Gauss's law, there are no exceptions to Ampere's law. There are cases where it's not useful to find the magnetic field. But. Okay, uh, let me just make sure I answered everything. So five minutes, I answered, uh, say progress, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so let me submit it. And I always joke that it'll be embarrassing if I don't get 100%. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, if I get 100%, submit and end. Yeah, okay. So, and it's this contest I want, I think a substantial number of questions are from physics 10. Uh, so the multiple choice on this set might be on the easier side if they are mostly from physics 10. So, uh, like the, la the last question, it, uh, that definitely wasn't physics 10. If I'm making references to um, Gauss's law and Ampere's law, that's written for this class. In physics 10, we can't do Ampere's and Gauss's law because even to state the law, you need a calculus. So, um, 